Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Now let's go to Mr. Polly. Hey, Renaissance Charter School of Pines. Mr. Polly here with another Polly's Positive Act for the week. So far, we have taken out the trash, doing the dishes. Now we're going to add cleaning our rooms. Yep, cleaning our rooms. If you continue doing the dishes and taking out the trash, Please add clean in our rooms so this will only help our families during these tough times. Thank you so much. Back to you, Danielle. Thank you, Mr. Polly. That was awesome. Now let's go to Jaden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on May 14, 1796, the first smallpox vaccination is administrated. The Britain physician Edward Jenner successfully inculated an eight-year-old smallpox patient using material from a cowpox lesion. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do if You're Bored. For today's activity, we're going to be making some easy pom-poms, and you can use them for almost anything. This is what they look like. Here are the steps. Take a short string, a fork, long string and scissors. Put the sword string in the middle of the fork and pull it down on both sides. Then wrap the long string around the fork multiple times so that it will stay. After you've done that, cut off any extra pieces and take the piece that you already had and tie it over the fork. Make sure that it's extremely tight so it does not come loose. Cut off any extra pieces and then take your pom-pom off of the fork and take your scissors and cut down the sides of both sides of the pom-pom. Then Roll it around your hands to make sure it's got the right circle shape and then cut off any loose edges. And there you go. Here are a few cool ways you can use your pom-poms. Take your pom-poms and bunch them together to make a cushion out of them which you can sit on or you can put them on a smaller object for something else to sit on. You can also Take two googly eyes, some glue, and glue the googly eyes onto one. Another way what you can do is take the pom-poms and tape or glue them to a string and use them as party decorations. And another thing you can do is take a piece of paper, cut a circle out of it, Spin it around so that you get the shape of a cone. And then take some tape and tape it. And then glue a pom-pom to the top and write a nice message on it. Wow, wasn't that great? Now you have a versatile craft that you can use to spice up any project. Remember, if you do this DIY, send a picture or a video at gmail.com and don't forget to check in tomorrow for the next DIY and stay creative now let's go back to Danielle thank you Nathaniel now let's go to weather with Bonnie thank you Danielle today's weather in Pembroke Pines Florida is forecast to
it to be 81 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Now, let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Barney. And here's the joke of the day. A boy asked his father, Dad, are bugs good to eat? That's disgusting. Don't talk about things like that over dinner, the dad replies. After dinner, the father asks, Now what do you want to tell me? Oh, nothing, the boy says. There was a bug in your soup, but now it's gone. <laughs> now let's go back to Danielle. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. You always know how to make us laugh. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your remote page to welcome your scholars in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Milholm, Ms. Gilbert, Mr. Santiago, Ms. Anaya, Ms. Jimenez, Ms. Santori, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Moraz, and Mrs. Kuttner. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was... It belongs to you, but other people use it more than you do. What is it? The correct answer to the riddle was your name. Now for today's riddle. If you're running in a race and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? Once again, if you're running in a race and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesofrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.